on average tobacco use households spend around 2000 rupees per month on smoking even the poor people spend around 1000 rupees per month on tobacco spending on smoking means less money available on other basic needs our study clearly shows that tobacco use households spend less on education health and housing when compared to non tobacco use households however tobacco control policies face significant resistance by the tobacco industry their arguments are mainly based on that contribution of tobacco on national economy to contribute to this debate it is important to have empirically backed information on this issue with the application of world bank developed methodology we assess the impact of tobacco control on national income The study reveals reduced tobacco consumption will yield net benefit on national income through spending the release money from tobacco on non-tobacco goods and services. It reveals if tobacco consumption is reduced by 20%, this will this would result in 30% net benefit on national income. The positive impact from tobacco control that our study identified implies that the tobacco manufacturing sector does not produce output as efficiently as other sectors in the economy that have higher multipliers so overall our study findings show that uh, there is no significant economic harm from controlling tobacco production and they should be recognized by um, policy makers and regulators when formulating tobacco control policies in sri lanka While Sri Lanka has already implemented uh, policies such as banning uh, advertising and uh, banning smoking in public places among other policies it would uh, still be useful to further drive down smoking prevalence in the country by implementing policies that are in line with WHO's FCTC protocol such as indexing cigarette taxes to inflation and banning uh, single stick cigarette sales